girls, I'm just showing out it. If you've got a really flat nail, like, as in flat... Double A boobs rather than <laughs> double boobs. Du double A, double A boobs. Yeah. <laughs> a double A boob nail, I love yeah. that. Um, so this, you know, natural smile line, this natural free edge is really flat. And then when you bring the, the actual form down, can you see what happens? Yeah. It won't match. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take this center tab, cut it straight, turn the form over, and then from ear to ear, those two little points, oh, wow. place oh, yeah. that on. It's going to give you a flatter. Oh, oh look at that. So, French nail. We are going to build out, and this is where you've got to perfect that clear layer. It's all about the clear layer, not thick, nice and thin. If you think, you know, paper thin, as thin as a top coat. Oh, now that's thin, isn't it? Yeah? That's how thin you want it. So it's not a massive bead. And then I'm using my brush really flat. So I'm placing it on and using my brush really flat. And I'm stretching the product down. I'm gonna pat, 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 pat. This is important. Patty, patty, pat, pat. Then we make sure from corner to corner. So where that natural nail finishes, basically where the form ends here, at those wings, that's going to be your highest point, okay? Your highest point, and you're going to make this wall of product. So if I look at that mm -hmm. inside, can you see our brick wall? Yeah? Straight on. Can you see? Apex, then it goes straight. So, if we want to pinch, we want to pinch now. Not when we put the white on. We can pinch then, but this is going to start setting, isn't it? Because it's on the finger. It's got the warmth from the finger. Not that Rachel's finger's very warm at this moment of time. <laughs> <laughs> and if I test, even by pressing the tool, I can see that it's a little bit spongy still. But give it another, what, 10 seconds. And we might be there. Right, I've just etched there, so I've got a starting point with my metal file, and I'm just gonna come in with a normal file for now. And I'm just making this nice and crisp. And the dust settling will show you how crisp it is. And then I'm gonna use my metal file because this will really etch in and make it super crisp. Can you see why we put that clear layer on? If the clear layer wasn't on and I needed to file that smile line like that, it, this cover pink would just, it would pop off the form. So the clear layer is there, is just to connect them together, yeah? So that's why it's really important and it's really important to get it nice and thin. Now we can use the white. So we're gonna butt this bead right up to that wall. So we get behind it and we walk it all the way up. And we can stretch it. Yeah. 
Now, because that clear was so thin, we can still pinch this free edge because it will pinch because it's really flexible still. So I can test. So we're nice and narrow. And when you're taking your forms off, those that are new to forms, oh, we still a bit. We still need to give it a few seconds. Um, when you take it off, you want to take it off like this. So you don't grab it here and pull this way. Let's get those sides nice and straight. And we're going to do these sides the same as we did before because the curvature is that great. We, we, need, we want to twist this finger so we can really access it. And you'll notice when you file through the cover pink and the white, that's what gives you that crisp edge. It's like bang, bang. There's no clear over the top. You know, some people put it down and put clear over the top and that creates shadowing. You want it to be just purely white and cover pink. If you start to add clear, you're just going to create depth and shadow. Right, so I'm wary of time. I'm going to finish filing this while you start getting those forms on. 